What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're going to be talking about 10 different great options when it comes to survival, bushcraft, and camping knives. I'm also going to throw a couple different bonuses in there for you, just to keep you on your toes. Let's get into it here with the first one, which is the Condor Crotalis. This knife end to end is 10 and 3 quarter inches, your blade is 5 and a half inches, and your handle is 5 and a quarter inches. My Carta handle, 1075 high carbon steel, it does have that black traction coating on there. Nice knife. The uh, sheath is a combination of webbing and molly and a kydex sheath all together. When I talked to Joe Flowers, he mentioned this is a great outdoor and bushcraft knife, but it also has tactical applications as well. Nice wide blade, so if you want something that's got a wider blade profile, this is definitely one that's worth checking out. Now, if you like the Crotalis, but you want something a little bit smaller, you might want to check out the Garuda from Condor. This is the five inch version, and they also have a four and a half inch version. So very similar profile, very similar build to the Crotalis, but definitely a smaller knife than the Crotalis. If you like the Crotalis, but you want something even bigger, maybe you should check out the Condor Boom Slang. Definitely getting into something I would call a chopper. 1075 high carbon steel, nice leather sheath that it comes with. And uh, there you go, a bunch of different options from Condor as we start talking about survival bushcraft and camping knives. Next up we have the Habless Bush Tool. 10 and a quarter inches from end to end, five and a quarter inch blade, G10 handles, you got your bow drill divot right there. They call it a pseudo Scandi grind because it has a secondary bevel. And uh, these come with a Kydex sheath or a custom JRE Industries leather sheath. Really nice knife, uh, very unique. You can see again, a nice wide blade there. It's gonna be good for a variety of tasks. You can see the notch right here for uh, using it with your fire steel. Exposed pommel there on the end, and you could certainly put a lanyard through that as well. Nice, comfortable knife. You're gonna be basically ordering this from Habless directly, and you can customize it in the process of actually making it. These are gonna run around $200, and you can actually build a small survival system around the sheath system that you get. So you can have the knife, you can have a smaller knife attached to the sheath, and then you can attach other gear to the sheath as well. Habless Bush Tool. When you talk about survival and bushcraft and being in the outdoors, eventually Mora Knives has to come up. And so let's talk about the Mora Bushcraft Survival Orange. Yes, it is orange, as you can tell from that bright orange handle. 9.1 inches from end to end, 4.3 inch blade. That is the stainless steel that Mora uses on a lot of their knives. 90 degree spine, so you can definitely get uh, sparks off your fire steel. And I'll show you here, there's a look at the sheath system. So that black plastic, and then also this orange section as well. Fire steel is included as is that sharpening stone to uh, keep your knife working well and having it nice and sharp out in, the, uh, out in the woods. Super comfortable knife, super comfortable knife. I mean this, anytime, if you use Mora before, you know that they're just really ergonomic. And for me, I find, particularly with Mora's, that they fill my hand out nicely. Some knives, the handles are just too small. For me, a Mora works really, really well. They also have this in the Bushcraft Black version, but I wanted to try something different. So here's your bright orange version of this knife. Maybe you like that Mora, but you want something even bigger? Check out the Mora Pathfinder knife. This is a 6.75 inch blade, just a longer blade and a slightly different sheath system that comes with it. This is more kind of a tactical look, but you could certainly attach that to a pack. And uh, the knife overall, I mean, that's just a big hefty knife. One of the largest that Mora makes out there. Pathfinder knife from Mora. This is carbon steel. If you want something large from Mora, this is one you should definitely check out. Let's take a look at the Benchmade Bushcrafter. Now you can get this with the greenish bluish handle here like this. You can also get it with a tan handle as well. Uh, this one came with the leather sheath. It also comes with a kydex sheath option as well. These uh, knives were really popular for people, you know, doing bushcrafting, survival, camping, things like that. And uh, People working in EOD teams overseas like these knives for cutting C4, so they said, can you make a brown handle and give us a kydex sheath, so that's why they did that. 4.4 inches for your blade and a tiny bit longer than nine inches from end to end. Very comfortable handle. Uh, this is S30V steel, which is a very nice steel, and it's gonna keep an edge well. And uh, this has been a go-to knife for me when it comes to survival, bushcrafting, and doing things in the outdoors. Benchmade just makes great products overall, and uh, even though they don't make a ton of fixed blades, the ones that they do make are really nice, and I've very much enjoyed using the Benchmade Bushcrafter. These next two knives are actually two of my favorite outdoor and survival knives. We have the Ontario Knife Company Rat 7, and then if you want something a little bit smaller, there's the Rat 5. So your Rat 7, despite the size of the knife being you know, seven inches long for the blade, you've got a five inch handle, so 12 inches long from end to end. This thing is super manageable, really easy to use. 
1095 is your steel. Does come with a ballistic nylon sheath with an extra pouch there, so you could throw in, you know, a fire steel, something else that you might want to keep in a survival kit or with this knife. Again, if you think that seven inches is too long for a survival knife or an outdoor knife, then check out the Rat 5. I've just started a review on this one recently, but again, five inches for your blade and then five inches for your handle as well. Really nice knife, and I love the handles on these Ontario Knife Company uh, knives. They're just, they're just, they fit for me. They're just the right size. And uh, even though they're not super polished, I just think they're a great, great option. Both of these are gonna run you probably in the $65 to $75 range. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option, check out the Schrade SCHF 42D. So the 42 was kind of the original version of this. It had similar grivery handles, except they were gray, and it had a recurved blade. This one is a standard drop point, and it has these tannish brown handles. So SCHF 42D comes with this leather sheath, and uh, comfortable design, very ergonomic, and this is a Brian Griffin design. He's worked with Schrade on a lot of different designs and models and when this one came out a lot of people were really excited if you want to replace the handles uh, you can check out joe snarsky on facebook and i'll put a link down below so you can head over there he uh, makes custom handles for this one and also for the 42 as well just over a five inch blade and just under a five inch handle so 10 inches from end to end and you're going to probably pay around 40 dollars give or take for this knife the Schrade schf 42d for some people, when they think of an outdoor or survival knife, they think of a one tool option, meaning they're not gonna have a hatchet and a knife or an ax and a knife. They're just gonna have one cutting tool. And I think this one definitely fits into that category. This is the Topps Kukri. 14 inches from end to end, that nice recurve on the blade. 1095 high carbon steel, it's a quarter inch thick. Very comfortable in hand. If you've never used a Kukri before, this is definitely one that you would like to check out because you'll see the advantage of the angles of something like this. When you chop with this, just by the nature of how you swing, you don't have to bend your wrist as much because that's how the blade is meant to work. You do have the bow drill divot holes on the handle. And the other cool thing I wanna mention about this is your sheath system. Now I basically built a small survival kit into this sheath, including on the back, you can see I got a flashlight, I've got some paracord, I've got some magnesium and fire steel down there. So between the knife and the sheath system, you've got a very nice setup when you pick up the Topps Kukri. Maybe you're looking for something a little bit more custom, check out the Amuk from Three Dog Knife. Really cool blade, just a, a unique style. You can get it in a bunch of different types of steel. This is LMAX, you can also get an N690 and also in tool steel as well. Very aggressive pommel there. It does come with a Kydex sheath with a Bladetech tech lock on the back and I'll show you what it looks like actually in there. So this is a custom knife. When I got this, they actually, it took a while because they had to uh, put the whole thing together for me, build the whole thing for me. It's made up in Alaska at a company called Northern Knives. And uh, yeah, if you want something unique, this is definitely something that's going to uh, fit that bill, the Amuk from Three Dog Knife. Earlier on, I mentioned the Topps Kukri as a one tool option. Well, this knife fits into that category as well. This is the Scarblades Papa Bear. 1095 high carbon steel, quarter inch thick, six inches of cutting power right there in your blade. A lot of customization when it comes to this knife. I got the brown handles, you can also get black as well. You can see I've got this green coating on the blade. They offer a bunch of different coatings, uh, gun coat, there's also a tough coat as well. As far as your sheath, it's Kydex, and I got mine without the fire steel holder, but you can get it with a fire steel holder as well. Now, if you like this knife, but you're just thinking that's too big for me, then maybe you wanna check out a brand new knife from them. This is the Bear. So this is smaller than the uh, Papa Bear, and it's not actually even on their website, but if you want to order this, head on over to Scarblades, and I'll put a link down below, and you can ask them about this knife. And uh, obviously they're making it because I have one right here, but this one is very, very ergonomic. The other one's definitely, the Papa Bear is definitely bigger and heftier. It's gonna be a better chopper. This one feels very manageable and very comfortable in hand, the Scar Blades Bear. I first heard about Justifier Knives from Ben over at Living Survival when he reviewed one of their knives. And so I contacted Frank from Justifier Knives. We worked it out and he has sent me this knife, which I'll be reviewing in detail in the future. This is the Valor Bush Knife. Four and three quarter inch blade, nine and a quarter inches from end to end. Tool steel is what he uses to make these knives. These are all custom made, really, really beautiful knives. You can see we've got 
beautiful G10. We've got liners there. And then let me actually show you the Kydex sheath as well. So there's your Kydex sheath with a ferro rod included that has a matching liner. On the back, you can see our dangler. As soon as I got this knife from Frank, I messaged him and told him it's absolutely beautiful and I'm really gonna enjoy using this in the future. Valor Bush Knife. And uh, definitely head over to their website to find out more about Justifier knives. And I put a link down below if you wanna see where you can purchase some of his knives. Now these last two knives I'm gonna throw in kind of as a bonus. The first one is the Farson Tool from Fremont Knives. Think about this, it's six inches from end to end, but it has a seven and three quarter inch cutting blade. How can that be? Because this is what it looks like. So this entire edge is a cutting blade. They found a Native American tool basically out in the desert or in the mountain somewhere. They liked the style of it and so they said, let's make a modern version of it. Fremont Knives makes these. They're very reasonably priced. They give you some different options as far as your sheath and actually your steel. They've done these actually in different colors as well. And you can imagine as far as a skinning tool, this thing is just gonna be excellent. They've also made the Farson hatchet, which is one piece of steel, but with just a handle added onto here. So if you like this, head over to Fremont Knives and check it out. One final bonus knife we're gonna throw in here, it's the 50-50 survival knife from First Edge Knives. LMAX steel, G10 handles. Here's a quick look at your sheath. And I have not used this knife yet, but I look forward to getting out in the woods and testing it. I have used LMAX steel on a handful of other knives and I've really liked it. So I look forward to uh, seeing how it functions on this one. If you're familiar with First Edge knives at all, you're probably aware that some of these knives are in use by special operations units that are serving the US military. So First Edge knives, 50-50 survival knife. A review for that will be coming pretty soon. In this video, we've been talking about survival, bushcraft, and outdoor knives. And what I can tell you is that either from personal use or from people and friends that I know and trust, all these knives get a thumbs up from Everyday Tactical Vids. So even if I haven't personally used them, I know people who have used these knives and definitely have liked them. There's always pluses and minuses to every single knife out there, but all these knives are definitely approved as far as, from my perspective, as knives that will be worth investing in or worth checking out to see if they're gonna fit your needs when it comes to doing things in the outdoors. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like this video, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and you'll be getting updates on new videos, new gear reviews, uh, mindset, training, all different types of things that we do here at Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon.